turns on up so you can hear. Yeah. All right, these uh, these tan boxes here are uh, what we call production units or gas production units. For instance, these these good boxes here are we got them in here for the Marcellus well in Ohio. The actual Utica wells boxes are your production units are a lot bigger than this. <clears throat> after the fluid comes out of the ground, for instance, after the fluid comes out of the ground and after they frack it and all that. This is what these units is what separates the oil from the water, and for instance, whenever the if fluid comes out of the ground, it's you know really, really, really cold. This is a 750,000 BTU line heater underneath of it. So, for instance, when the fluid comes into this unit, it'll come in and you know under high pressure, like this is like a 5,000 pound coil. So it'll come in 5,000 pounds through a water bath which will raise the temperature up. And then after it comes out of the water bath, it'll go into a choke. We'll choke then we'll choke the, the, the gas pressure of the fluid down to 1,440 pounds. Then from there, it goes to the inside of it. It's called a bucket system. It's just a 20-inch vessel in there with, with split into three sections. And obviously, water and oil has two different weights, and the water will, will keep falling over the buckets, therefore after after it goes through the last bucket then you know they'll, they'll put it in the right tank, it dispense in the right tank. Uh, these units right here actually come from Texas. Uh, we our main supplier for production units comes from Pry the Hills, which is in Big Prairie, Ohio. That's where we get I'm gonna say 80% of all of our production units. This uh these, these, this blue unit right here is actually a sand trap. Whenever, you know, after they frack a well, uh, obviously, the, you know, they use a lot of sand to break down the formation. And then whenever they're flowing back, you know, you're talking, these, these units here are 6,000 pound units. Now this vessel is a 20 inch vessel. The idea of this vessel is only 14 and a half inches. That's how thick so the walls are on this vessel. So therefore, actually, after they frack, it'll go through this sand trap for, usually, they usually try to leave them on there for about a month, make sure they get all the, as much sand out of the well as possible. The production units are definitely, if you get sand in them, they're ruined, pretty much. The $75,000 unit, the sand in it for two hours, it's basically junk. So we take a lot of precautions just to, you know, every safety factor we can get for the customer to make sure they don't destroy you know, their units. Uh.